not understood by those who try to interpret his message. And this, of course, creates infinite complications when the prophet is deeper than his time. The sheep, all sheep of the fold, has scattered themselves. And everyone is suffering from this great thing called ego. Everybody is busy involved in himself. The respect of humanity has been lost. See? No man respects his fellow man again. But this time the truth shall swim like waters cover the sea. And only righteousness can exalt a nation. If it wasn't Bob Marley, it wasn't reggae. So Peter must have been meeting his set of um, hard work to break his reggae to the world, you know? Robert Nesta Marley, who was presented with the Order of Merit a few weeks ago by the Jamaican government. This is the second highest honor that's... So when um, Bob died, they called me to announce it to the radio stations to let them know that Bob had died. But because of the closeness of Peter and Bob and Bonnie, I said to myself, let me call Peter first. So I called him. And I said, Peter, I'll, I'm calling you first before I tell the radio stations what Bob has died, you know? So I said, well, that's, well, if it's so, it's just so. At least it leaves a little space for all of us to go through now. The truth is, I was born with fear, lots of fear for the evil that exists around me 360 degrees. But there is something within me that was born inside of me that was called determination. And I know it has more power than fear. Why do you think that the, that the militant artist proposes a threat to these people? Why do they? Because their works are corruption. And where there is corruption, there must be an eruption. You see? And irrespective of what bureaucrats are promising the people and politicians and telling you what they are doing and what they will be doing, they have always been promising good, but doing the most dangerous evil. And all I've been seeing is that I've been seeing from I was a youth growing up. All the people get these promises, comfortable promises, for a thousand years, and a generation come and a generation go, and no promises accomplished. Peter and Fry had a common, something in common, which was that they all believed in this, the, the blackness, the, the uprising, the uplifting of black people and black consciousness levels. Live clean, let your works be seen. Stand firm or you gonna feed worms. Live clean, let your works be seen, my brothers. Stand firm or you gonna feed worms. Free, I know I'd put in an application to get control of JBC Radio 1 to buy it out. Free, I was almost certain now, as long as they decide not to give it to a foreigner. And he was backed by Peter and all of this. 
in terms of structuring it along Rasta Black. That was the emphasis, you know. That was the music play about the teachings of black people, you know, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. So the government was in a dilemma because they didn't want to give it to Free Eye. And Peter did I prefer to give it to somebody else. Live clean, let your works be seen. Jamaica society is not really ready to have Rastafari be so projected on such a serious medium. Listen! This one! It's brand new, brand new, brand new, 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 new album, Mama Africa. And this one is called Not Gonna Give It Up. He became over, overzealous. You know, he was, his spirituality actually overtook him. And he knew that there had to be like a satanism thing going around that would always want to devour God's people. Not a Michael Jackson bumbo class element and not a little um with the next one named Prince element and them kinda little big bop bumbo class element. It's too what's it? What's it? It's too black for them. Don't you where you come from as long as you're a When I get so fucking upset, I don't bother blood clot, talk English, bumbo clot, grammar. Cause them things that get me very bumbo clot upset. Seen? And all the cars, you know why? I am not singing, darling, I blood clot, love you, and come shake my rust, and I swim the ocean and climb the mountain. <laughs> Seen? And that not going to change me. Seen? Because I am going to kill the fuckery out there. And people is going to be in demand for the truth. People is sick and tired of hearing bumbo clot, get down, shake your fucking booty. See? People is sick and tired of hearing darling, I blood clot, love you. You turn on the fucking radio 24 bumbo clot hours a day. You hear darling, I love you. A man singing, a man wouldn't sing to the almighty ras clot. Him love him human more than the creator who create the sun, the moon and the bumbo clot star. I sick and tired of hearing that bumbo blood clot. <laughs> well, he had an ulcer. I think round about eighty four that was discovered, and he came off the road. Yeah, before he went to Africa, he came to me and saying he can't sing no more. So he wanted to go to Africa now to clean up that. So one of the things he told me was of being very impressed with the magical and mystical powers of the medicine men he met there. Uh, 
especially one gentleman who introduced him to roots which if used in a particular way and taken on a particular day perhaps with the sun in a particular direction uh, you would magically have the power to change your form and he told me quite convincingly that this African doctor took the roots transformed himself into a tiger into a serpent and then back into man and he told us that Peter would have to make a sacrifice right when he comes back to Jamaica and then Peter wanted something that no this is true can tell you this right Peter wanted something that could protect him from bullets living in the country a small country like Jamaica which everything is there good and bad 